Hello, this is entry one in a vlog I'm starting about this wonderful computer I'm building and designing. What you see here is just one third of the computer so far. It is a transistor transistor logic computer, meaning it uses uh, integrated circuits like the ones you see here. Those are the black things, that's an integrated circuit. Um, this is unlike the last computer I built, which uses relays. Uh, and as a result, this computer doesn't make a clackety-clack sound, but it has a lot more processing power. It's a 4-bit computer, and it will be able to run some pretty nice programs. Um, and the name for the computer is the Duo 128 Elite, because it has uh, 64 bits of memory in the uh, RAM right here and 64 bits of memory in the VRAM, which is not on its board yet, because I haven't built it, or rather installed it. Uh, and then to show you what the different chips are, um, the main chip is the uh, EEPROM right here, which stores all the commands that are to be executed by the computer. Um, <clears throat> these two chips here determine which address to access in the EEPROM. EEPROM, sorry. Uh, this chip right here stores the current command name. Uh, this is the RAM, uh, as I showed you before. And um, <clears throat> these two chips here determine the source of what data to write to the three argument registers. Here, here, and here. The argument registers store the uh, arguments of the current command. And lastly, these two chips here are in control of um, sending the different write signals to the three uh, argument registers. <clears throat> so now to show you how the computer functions so far, I'm going to first write the data 1, 2, and 13 to the EEPROM, and then I'll load that data into the argument registers. So I'll turn the computer on. Uh, this light indicates that it's on. And <clears throat> these two LEDs show the current EEPROM address. Right now I'm manually writing. I'm not relying on these two chips here uh, for the address. And I've already loaded a 1 in. So let's go to the next address, which is located here. This light indicates we're at address 1 before we were at address 0, I guess. Uh, so we'll write the data. Then there's a two. We'll perform a write cycle on the EEPROM. It's kind of painstaking to do it by hand, but it is possible. So there. Now in address one, we have a two, and in address zero, we still have, oops, sorry, we still have our one and address zero. And now let's go to address two, like so. This one's empty, so I'll write a 13. There's a one, uh, that's four, and that's eight. One plus four plus eight makes 13. We'll go ahead and write that data by performing a write cycle on the EEPROM. And after we stop writing the data, I'll just throw these wires away because I don't really need them anymore. Um, <clears throat> now we have a 13 written to register, I'm uh, not register, 13 written to the second address of the EEPROM. And we'll go back there's the 1, and 2, and 13. Okay, so now that we have the correct data written to the EEPROM, I have moved the LEDs from here and here over to uh, the argument registers, and I've placed two pieces of paper between the groups of four so that you can clearly see what data is written to each of the three registers. Um, so now to load the data from the EEPROM into the registers, I'll turn the power back on. 
and perform some secret operation over here, namely selecting the correct place to write to in the uh, registers there. And now uh, I'll perform the first write cycle. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulty. Okay, so there we perform the first write cycle uh, to here, and we have a one, as you can see. The this is uh, the first digit. And we can go to the next address by pressing this button. There we go. So in the next register we have a 2. That second light is on. And that's binary, mind you. Um, we'll press the button to go to the next address. And there is our 13. So. We wrote the data 1, 2, and 13 to the EEPROM, and as you can see, it's loaded 1, 2, and 13 into the three different argument registers, respectively. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll post more, vi more videos in the future as I keep constructing the computer. Uh, see you later.